Welcome back to the Mayorverse, everybody. Mayor Reynolds, AK Midnight Mayor here. And today we are discussing the weapon meta and doing a weapon tier list as of Dead Drop Snapshot 7. We are now a week or so after launch. There could be hot fixes, there could be patch updates, but I do one of these videos with a tier list and weapon meta for every single snapshot. So if you want more videos like this, more Dead Drop content, more Midnight Society content, this is the channel to be. Make sure you subscribe. Now, if you want to know what guns to use and what guns to avoid in Dead Drop Snapshot 7, let's talk about it. Let's check out the footage. All right, all the footage you're going to see in these clips was captured on my stream at twitch.tv slash Reynolds. And let's start with the S tier. We're going to do best and then go downward. And there's three guns in S tier, in my opinion. The first one is the sniper rifle. This thing, since it was introduced, has been an absolute god. It has not changed. This thing, in my opinion, is one of the best feeling sniper rifles in gaming has been since it was, was created. This thing is just so strong. If you hit your shots with it, you can't go wrong. Uh, again, it feels a little bit like PUBG sniping to me. Uh, depending on the levels of armor, you can one shot people in the body unless they have higher levels of armor. And then one shot headshots are always a thing, no matter what helmet they have. It shoots quick. You can play, you know, like a, a peak uh play style and, and you know have quite a bit of cover uh there's lots of wide open space lots of verticality in dead drop is if you're using this sniper rifle you really can't go wrong it's even amazing it would it has the best iron sights in the game in my opinion you don't even particularly need a scope uh to use this thing so if you see a sniper rifle you pretty much want to pick it up all right next up is the pump shotgun this thing can literally one pump people if you hit them it, it is not it's very forgiving it's not hard to shoot um pretty accurate from from all ranges it doesn't have too severe of a damage fall off if you watch this clip here i just pretty easily just strafe and just kill people with the shotgun uh, again it really chunks people and uh can do a lot of damage you can move pretty quick with it and uh it's just it's just it's the best shotgun in the game right now by far and uh, you, you can't go wrong with it, especially if you start getting a lot of attachments. You don't even really need attachments, so it's not reliant in the current state on attachments. Pump shotgun, S tier. All right, next up in S tier, and the final gun of S tier, in my opinion, is the heavy pistol. This thing is so versatile. It got reworked in Snapshot 6. It is a monster. It hits like a truck. You can shoot it from the hip very accurately. You can put a sniper scope on it if you want. I recommend a four times rather than a sniper in most cases but you can put longer scopes on it and it, it's it's just it's accurate it's deadly as you can see here you can two and three tap people with this thing i think you might even if you hit a headshot on somebody with not without a light helmet you might kill them in one shot i don't think that's the case if they're full health but this thing is so strong and you can add an extended mag to it to get nine shots you can add a weapon mod to it to boost it even more there's minimal bullet drop it's very versatile. It's probably overpowered, to be honest with you. But the animations on this thing are also S tier. The model is S tier. All around heavy pistol, uh, hand cannon, a lot of people call it. Looks amazing, feels amazing, and it's it's deadly. So use it in all scenarios. If you see a heavy pistol, definitely think about using it. So I said there was only three in S tier. I know that's somewhat of a hot take because I didn't yet cover the SMG. This thing is either S tier or very high A tier. And I'm going to tell you why I uh, this one's tough, guys. So the SMG dominated Snapshot 6 and it's still very, very good. However, uh, lasers took a hit in Snapshot 7. So the hip fire did get nerfed a little bit because the SMG is definitely a gun in a play style. You're probably going to hip fire a lot and, and move around. That was at least my play style with it. It's still really good. It probably is still technically S tier, uh, if we're being honest. Uh, can get a huge mag, 40 bullets or up to 60 with with, with the extended mag. Um, I just, you know, it did see a slight nerf, but I'm kind of thinking it's it's still S tier. The SMG is very a very, very, very good gun. You can't go wrong with it, really. It just did get a slight nerf in Snapshot 7, but it's not like it actually hurt the gun much. All right, next comes A tier, and there's some very interesting guns that made it into A and B tier due to some pretty um, unexpected or even undocumented or, or maybe not obvious changes. So when I was in Vegas at the Snapshot 7 reveal event, I talked to one of the devs who told me that he thought that the burst pistol is going to be like low-key 
the uh, the the most underrated slash semi overpowered gun in the game. Uh, if you've used the burst pistol in Snapshot 7, you'll notice a few things. While the numbers didn't change so much, this thing shoots insanely fast. Both the bursts, like the, the bullets, it, it's you don't really have to track your target with it. Like once you fire it, the bullets are definitely gonna hit the target, like all of the bullets in the burst. But you can also squeeze the trigger extremely, extremely fast. If you take a look at this clip here, you'll see I catch this guy coming around the corner and you'll see just how fast you can shoot this thing. Just keep squeezing the trigger and it just like, it's just like stacks and stacks of damage. This thing's also, you can burn through cleaners very fast with this thing. The reason it's not S tier, despite doing very high DPS, the base magazine is very small. It's only 18 bullets. It That's not super forgiving. With an extended mag, it's 27 and it definitely feels much more lethal. Um, so even though it's such a high DPS gun and, and very good, especially at close ranges, um, you can kind of just like spray it, spray the bursts at somebody. Um, without an extended mag, it's it's not quite S tier. Uh, I would like to see uh, the, the base mag maybe expanded by e even, even one burst maybe to make it a very viable uh, secondary weapon. Um, but right now, again, try it. The, the burst, the burst pistol is really good. Here is a gun that I did not expect to be an A tier. And when Snapshot 5 first came out, the DMR was, was literally uh, a terror. You could shoot from the hip with this thing like crazy. You could move around with it like crazy, basically snipe people with it. It, it was insanely overpowered and Midnight Society basically nerfed it into the ground to take it out of the meta altogether because it was just, it was no joke, insane. And then they left it the same in Snapshot 6. And there was nothing in the patch notes about the DMR and Snapshot 7. And I kind of wondered, like, like what are they going to do with this thing? You know, like, if, if it's really not going to be... Uh, it, it didn't have a place, right? Like, you couldn't really contest uh, a sniper with it in Snapshot 6. The recoil was too high. Uh, obviously, the hip fire isn't as good as it used to be, which is the way a DMR should be designed, by the way. But anyway, I, I decided to give it a shot and stick a four-time scope on it on stream today. And I got to tell you guys, the DMR is back. I know the numbers didn't change like in the patch notes and so on and so forth. But the improved servers, I think, really helped the bullet registration with this thing. Everything's just running a lot smoothly, a lot more smoothly. And I'm able to like just like two, three, four tap people with this thing on the run. There's also, as you can see here, these players aren't like moving insanely fast or dodging in and out of targets. But I use this clip as an example because you can really just like burn people with this thing in an unexpected way that I did not expect. Honestly, DMR, A tier. No, you shouldn't be running around firing it from the hip like you were in the early days of Snapshot 5. But this thing feels like a DMR should. I, It, it might even be a tad overpowered. I haven't decided yet. A tier for sure. Um, loving that this thing is viable again. I mean, just check out this clip here where I'm fighting somebody with the, with the, I want to call it a hand cannon, technically heavy pistol. I'm not even full health. I'm on low ground at the base of Crane here, and I have a DMR as, as one of my guns, and there's a guy above me at Crane. He shoots at me, and I just turn on this guy with the DMR and just tap him, just like he has the full advantage on me here, and just pop, 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 pop. Like, I just, guys, DMR's back. So grenades were introduced in Snapshot 6, that being frag grenades, smokes were available before that, and I, you know, I don't know if they're quite a weapon per se. They're they're a, a throwable, but grenades did receive changes in Snapshot Seven, and I think they feel much more consistent and uh, just just overall better. And, and they're definitely something that you want to have. You shouldn't forget about uh, grenades. I assume we're going to get more types of grenades down the road, maybe incendiaries or gas grenades or both. Would love to see them both. Um, different purposes, obviously, but frags are really good. If you see them, you should pick them up there. They cut, you can stack them up to three equipped at the same time and really just whip them, which is honestly probably a little overpowered and needs to be adjusted. But right now, uh, frags are, are they're very strong. They, they feel way more consistent and, uh, just use them. They're strong. All right, now moving into B tier, I'm going to start things off with the assault rifle. You can't really go wrong with this gun. It's not bad. It's the most standard 
you know, uh, gun in, in most first person shooters, if, if we're being honest. And I think we will get more assault rifle styles down the road in Dead Drop. But right now, the one that we have, the assault rifle, is, is very viable, especially at medium ranges, even at longer ranges, and it's not bad uh, at, at, at close range. As you can see here, you can do a lot of stuff. I kind of use it to peek around cover for those like mid to long range fights. You can contest people at long range with this thing. It, it's definitely accurate. Uh, it's not like insane from the hip or anything like that. Uh, or, you know, up close, you'd probably want an SMG or a shotgun clearly. But, but it's just a good middle of the road gun. You can't really go wrong. You'll be surprised by how quick you can be lasered by this thing. Like I said, if you're, if you're not moving or just caught in the wrong space, very good, uh, just all around gun in general. Uh, you know, it doesn't excel at anything in, in an insane way, but it doesn't fail at anything either. So assault rifle, good. Definitely want to see more ARs in the future. Stuff like maybe an AK style gun, higher recoil, higher damage. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, something like a burst rifle, like an M16 as well. But the basic assault rifle uh, looks good, feels good, and uh, yeah, decent B tier. Also in Vegas, one of the developers told me that the basic pistol, like, and by basic, I mean like semi-automatic, the one I'm going to use in this clip here, uh, actually has the highest, I shouldn't say highest, fastest time to kill and dead drop and when he told me that i didn't really believe him to be honest but take a look at this you can just shoot this thing it, and it, it's obviously really easy to use and you see how much damage it hits for i mean obviously it's not as forgiving as something like the smg which is clearly gonna be oh, or even the auto pistol which you can kind of just like spray and keep moving around but if you can track your aim with this thing uh, 16 bullets in the base mag, 24 in the extended mag. Like the, the semi-auto pistol is not, it's not bad at all. And you can really shoot it at some pretty decent ranges. Uh, you can put like, again, I think I got like a three times sight on it here. It's, it's not bad guys. And, and it, it's got to go in A tier. Like, like it's not like the best gun in the game necessarily. It's not versatile enough to be something like, you know, the sniper or, or the heavy pistol or even the SMG for run and gun situations, but it, it's not far behind for something like the SMG. Uh, it, it, it's it's not good as good, but it's seriously nothing to, to take a stick at. All right, next up in B tier is the auto pistol. This is a gun you'll find a lot, especially because when you respawn as a sin, it is the starting gun. This thing, I, I it honestly, B tier might be underrating it. I've long advocated that it could actually become a second SMG, like an Uzi. I've also heard somebody in my Twitch chat today say that it'd be cool if the final look kind of looked like a scorpion. I do like that idea, by the way, um, but but it's not bad. It, it's very forgiving. It has a large base mag of 24, which is def and you, you can kind of just like jump around with this thing and spray it. You know, it's not, it's not amazing at really anything. But for those situations, like if you're just sprinting and shooting from the hip or peeking around, you know, holding around a corner and somebody passes by and their backs turn to you, kind of like this. Sorry, Lolo. Uh, the damage stacks quick. It has a fast fire rate. Um, it's decent. I, I definitely in the long run think we'll see more like um, SMG style guns in general. So my my request to have this thing converted to a second SMG um might not necessarily come to fruition but uh yeah it, it's nothing if you see somebody with an auto pistol even though it's the starting gun for sins uh don't sleep on it and the knife is really hard to to rate it's not in vertical extraction shooter the main mode of dead drop yet it is in infection uh my mode that i designed check out my video on the channel about that i collaborated with 12 a.m on infection we're planning updates to the mode and I truly think that it could be the best version of Infection ever made in the long run. We've got a lot of really cool plans. Uh, but the knife, A, it looks cool. Uh, and it, it's fun to use. Sorry, Will. I used the clip killing William Morris here. Uh, the guy does music for, for Midnight, my live action dead drop short film. And I still cut him up. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how this thing comes into the vertical extraction shooter, right? Is it truly going to be a melee weapon? Is it going to be something that you pull out? 
um, when you don't have a gun equipped, like when you put X and put your gun away. Right now, it, it acts as a weapon in its first implementation, and you can kill pretty quick with it if you get in with somebody. Obviously, this thing is gonna be extremely limited, though. You have to get right in on them uh, to to actually kill them. Or down the road, maybe do they do they add a feature where you can throw the thing? Uh, who knows uh, where they're gonna go with it? Who knows where they're gonna go with melee weapons or the melee feature? If they do multiple melee weapons, uh, who knows, right? But but I had to put the knife in here because it's in Snapshot 7. Uh, so I'm, I'm going B tier for style points. And when you do get in with somebody, uh, it's, it's pretty damn deadly. 50 damage. Now we move on to C tier. And the first gun here, in my somewhat biased opinion, is the light machine gun. Uh, this thing at one point during Snapshot 5 was insanely overpowered. You could shoot it from the hip while jumping and be deadly accurate. You can shoot it very far ranges. The range thing is still definitely uh, strong. As you can see here, I'm iron sighting somebody from quite a ways away and uh, I, I kill a guy. The thing is with the LMG, as all LMGs in games, uh, you can shoot for days with it. The base mag I think is 60 and then with an extended mag, it goes up to 70 or 80 some, which is uh, lower than it used to be. But it, it's, it's not a bad gun. I am not a fan of the LMG arc type in most games, I I make this known. I don't love LMGs. Uh, I, I think they can, when not balanced very well, ruin a lot of games. I know it can be a cool, fun play style, um, but I, I think the thing that would make the LMG um, or LMGs in any game uh, better is you, you really want them to have high recoil. You want them to have that giant mag so you can shoot for days with it. That's part of like the LMG fantasy. High recoil, um, like I said, big, big mag. And just make it fit a certain certain role, right? You don't want it to be accurate from the hip or really accurate at all for that matter. Um, but it, it's not bad, especially the range this thing has, the size of the mag. It's just, it's not my favorite gun and I'm kind of biased towards LMGs in general. Um, I, I do want to see more LMGs added, you know, in general though, to, to expand that archetype of, of weapon. But uh, yeah, LMG, in my opinion, C tier. I would use the SMG, the AR, the sniper, the heavy pistol, like I said, even probably the burst pistol and basic pistol over this thing. Small LMG tip for you here. Definitely aim down sight with this thing. Again, it was appropriately nerfed from the hip. It's not great from the hip. So when you're using the LMG ADS. And here comes probably the hardest gun on this list to rank, and that is the range shotgun. For a while now, I've said that this thing can be much deadlier uh, than people think. By the way, it does have an insanely sick weapon model that I that I love. I love the visual look of this thing. Um, but the thing is, it, it it they changed it to slugs in Snapshot 7, which is a good call. I like that design choice. It just pales in comparison to when you when you're you know, gonna shoot go up against somebody who's using a sniper, a DMR, even the even the uh, AR or probably the LMG or heavy pistol. You're probably not. If they're contesting you, you're probably not going to win. And this thing does hit pretty hard uh, it's, and it has insane range. I mean, you can shoot it really far. You can shoot it like all the way across sector three. Basically, if you hit your shot, uh, it does good chunky damage. But there's just not much of a reason to use it over like a sniper. Oh, uh, definitely the sniper, probably the DMR too. maybe even the heavy pistol with a four times. There's been situations where I've gotten kills with it at a range. But it's kind of situations where the person I'm fighting uh, isn't equipped to deal with me at a range or maybe isn't even looking at me yet. And I just get the two or two or three shot him. Um, but the, as, you, as you can see, the, um, the visual recoil is quite strong on it. So it's not as easy as like the DMR to like tap, tap, tap. Obviously, it fires slower as well. I still like the concept of the range shotgun. I think it can have a place in dead drop for sure. I just don't think it's, a, it's excelling it a lot right now. And I've noticed that in Snapshot 7, the hip fire is a very, very, very difficult to hit. It almost feels like, and I, it probably has something to do with the slug ammunition type. Um, it almost feels like the hit registration from the hip is is broken. Or maybe when you're not, uh, I think the, the circle that's on screen maybe needs to be reduced in size, like your actual like crosshair um, to, to maybe make it smaller. Um, I, I don't know what the exact problem is. But, you know, there's times where I'm like, damn, this thing is really fun 
and it can be slept on but it's it's just not super reliable right now and if you're gonna fight at a range um there's other things that i would definitely use so i'm putting it in c tier hoping to see it move up someday maybe something like adding a choke to it could really change it up um i don't know just a thought finally closing out c tier is the double barrel i don't have a lot of good clips of this one because it's just not in the meta i don't pick it up a lot it's not in its snapshot five uh state it was once god tier uh had insane range but um there there's just again it's not a bad gun you, you catch people up close with it or close around the corner and you'll probably probably two tap them but there's just so many better guns uh to use that are more forgiving right you only got two shots in in the barrel that's the point of it being a double barrel uh, i would like to see this design iterated on right now you could put an extended mag on it and get three shots but again why not just use the pump which holds eight by default and hits just as hard or harder um you know the heavy pistol hits really hard even up close and it's very accurate from the hip smg you can run around and spray like crazy um there's just other guns that that are much more forgiving than the double barrel the double barrel's not useless or broken by any means it's just extremely extremely niche and i i, I almost want to see this thing reworked into uh the judge a new popular like two shot it's not a double barrel it's like a like a bolt it, i guess i shouldn't say bolt action hammer action uh shotgun which looks really really cool i think the way to fix the double barrel is to not allow it to equip an extended mag so it's truly a double barrel uh that that's an option um but just make it like limit the range extremely but make it god tier up close J just make it an extremely niche gun so you know from from point blank range this thing will one tap somebody but if you miss uh, your your two shots um you're in big trouble maybe even make give it a very long reload like an lmg traditionally has a good way of balancing lmgs is to make them have a long reload just a thought i did like the double barrel during its heyday but i i get it it's got to be uh balanced and, and right now it's it's okay it's just okay all right my last gun on the list and the only d tier and i don't even have a clip of it for you because i have been using it so little is the auto shotgun this thing was probably the most overpowered gun in Snapshot 6. Obviously, fully autic, fully autic, fully automatic, um, and you could just, you could shoot so much. I I had like a triple kill where I was just dual wielding them, and you can just run around kind of like the SMG, very forgiving, blasting from the hip. Uh, obviously, very big uh, hitbox, wide spray, didn't take a lot of skill to hit people with. It was nuts. They, adju they addressed it in Snapshot 7, and they pretty much uh broke it i don't think that was the intention it definitely took a nerf but something is off with it's either like the range of it or the way armor uh reduces the damage of, of the pellets something it, it, it's it's obviously better than no gun at all but you should use virtually every other gun uh over the auto shotgun it just you'll you'll know you'll know I, I think this will get hot fixed unless they just don't want it in the weapon meta at all so make sure other weapons shine um but, but i have a feeling that they will hot fix this and change it in in some way i don't know what that change will be but right now the auto shotgun is d tier after being absolute s tier for snapshot six we will see what happens but right now uh it's probably the gun that is overall the least viable in dead drop as of this very moment that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my assessments i know there'll probably be a lot of people uh balking that i that i put the smg in in s slash a tier it's it's probably just s if we're being honest but let me know hopefully you found the video useful i do one of these videos every snapshot so sub to get next snapshots tier list check out all the other dead drop videos on the channel make sure you join me on twitch twitter TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, where we have dead drop content out the yin yang. Thanks for watching, guys. Mary Reynolds out.